here is an 8 and there's an 8 and they cancel each other out because the 8 divided by 8 is 1 so they cancel each other out completely um, so do the 7s and so do the 6s and the 5s and the 4s okay so now we're down to this mess we can still cancel some stuff out because I can take a 2 out of the top because I can also take a 2 out of the 10 and I'm left with 5 because 10 divided by 2 is 5 not subtract divide that's why it's on the bottom of a fraction that's the dividing part um, there's also a 3 up here so I can get rid of that 3 and make this one instead of 3 because 9 divided by 3 is 3 so now on the top the only numbers I have left is 1 and on the bottom I have 3 times 5 times 11 uh, 3 times 5 is 15, 15 times 11 is 165. So that's that one, C. Okay. On the real number line below, numbers increase in value from left to right, and C is negative. Okay, so this one's already a negative. Let's just make it up. Let's say it's negative 7. Um, then what must the value of B be? Well, Let's see, it can't be negative 7, it has to be lower than negative 7, maybe it's like negative 12. Alright, so is B positive? No. Is B negative? Yes it is. Is it greater than C? No. Is it between 0 and C? No, because 0 is over here, because we're already negative numbers. Is it equal to 0? No, these are all silly. So, G. Nine, Marissa has a basket of red, yellow, and pink roses in a ratio of 6, 3, and 2. Okay, so um, the hard part about ratios that people forget is they forget how to figure out what the bottom number of the fraction is. Like they, they kind of understand that like the top number here, so these represent these in order. So the red number is uh, 6 and the yellow number is 3 and the pink number is 2. So pink is 2 out of something and yellow is 3 out of something and red is 6 out of something. And the out of something is how many total um, you have in this little ratio set here. So that's 6 plus 3 plus 5, that's 11. So basically, if you had 11 roses um, in this ratio, 2 out of 11 of them would be pink, and 3 out of 11 of them would be yellow, and 6 out of 11 of them would be red. So now it's saying that we have a total of 44 roses, which I'm taking as good news because I know that the ratio here is 11, and we're going to 44, and that's easy, and they probably made it easy because this is the test. So how many pink roses are in the basket? All right, so pink is 2 out of 11, and we're trying to get to 44. So to go from 11 to 44, you got to multiply by 4, so we're going to multiply by 4 on the top, too. That's 8 out of 44 right there. So how many pink roses are in the basket? 8. Uh, if you're feeling like I'm going too fast, hey guys, it's a video. You know how to pause videos. I'm sure you have to do it all the time when you're watching something and your mom's like, hey, get in here and do these dishes. And you're like, I was doing it. And then, you know, like you have to pause your video. I'm sure that happens to you. All right. Coffee. Carl, Char, Charles, Carl's, Charles A. Lindbergh's airplane Spirit of St. Louis was 27 feet, 8 inches long. Great. Had a wingspan. You're making a 1 15th scale model of this airplane. That makes the, that means that everything in the model airplane, whatever size it is in the original, if you divide by 15, that's what size it is in the bottom one. Uh, what should be the length of the model wingspan in feet? Okay, so ignore all that other junk. All it cares about is wingspan, so we care about this number right here, and we don't care at all about that uh, 27 feet, those inches, anything like that. So um, what we're doing basically is we're going to take uh, 46 feet and we're going to multiply by 1 15th which is the same thing as just 46 divided by 15 and it looks to me so then I look over here really quick because I don't know oh should I put that in my calculator but I now I look over here and say oh that's a waste of time because if I put this in my calculator it would just give me a decimal and that's not what it is over here so how many times does 15 go into 46 well I know that 15 goes into 45 three times so that's three and then there's one extra, that remainder, so 1 15th. So 3 and 1 15th. H. I think I might make it without any kid interruptions. And aren't you disappointed? Because weren't you secretly hoping that Zandy was going to walk in while I did this? It's going to happen. Sometime in the six videos, it will happen. 
Delivery costs for Ocean Beach hardware increased by 45% because the store moved away from the warehouse. Aww. Um, if it cost Ocean Beach hardware $90 to ship tools before the store moved, how much would it cost after? Okay, so it used to cost $90. And remember last time when we had like 100%, but then we subtracted 25%, so now we only had 75% left? Same thing here, only this time we have 100%. It's still going to cost the same for shipping, but it's going to cost an additional 45% more. So we're multiplying by 1.45, because remember, 100% is 1. So 1.45 would be 145%, which is what we want the cost to increase by. Well, it's increasing by 45%, but what it will go up to. So, if I multiply those numbers in my phone, I get 130.50, which is right there. Okay, and shame on you, by the way, if, uh, you know, I don't want to shame you too hard, but if it says that the delivery cost increased and then you decided that it was 49.5 or 62.75, come on. There should be a couple of those that even if you don't know how to do the problem, you should be like, that's stupid, that's stupid. <clears throat> if you did pick those, you probably missed the word increased, which I feel bad for you because when I was taking all of these tests, which I did at once, I got two problems wrong and both of them were on this easiest test because I misread directions. So it's an easy thing to do. Got to read those directions. All right, number 12 <clears throat> is talking about adding like terms. So let's see, um, you have to, like, uh, like terms um, in algebra is uh, if you have, like, something C, 3C that only can be added to other things that have C, um, but only C. The letters have, the variables have to match exactly. Um, also, you see this minus sign? It means we're subtracting all of these things. So right now, I'm going to do that fun little trick you learned in Mrs. Sicking's class where you add the opposite. So... I'm going to put a plus sign here and then make all of these negatives. So that's a negative 6e, a negative negative makes a positive 5d to the third, and another positive 4de squared. Okay, so first I'm going to add the d to the thirds. These two. That's 8 plus 5 makes 13d to the third. And then this one is d and e squared, which matches up with that last one there. So that's negative 3 d e squared plus 4 makes a positive 1 d e squared. Okay? And then um, the just the plain e's. So 2e minus 6e is negative 4e. So that is... J, 13 D cubed plus, see there's no 1 there? That's okay. Just be, if, if there's nothing there, you assume it's a 1. D E squared minus 4 E. Um, by the way, uh, there is no particular order um, as far as these things are concerned. Um, so if you were doing it yourself and you put this middle value first instead of the D to the third first, it doesn't really matter. You can add things in any order. So just be prepared to reorder uh, them for the answer to match it at least. All right, next up, what are the next three numbers in this series? 150, 25, 25 divided by 2, 25 divided by 4. All right, so if I look at a pattern here, I'm thinking, what happens from 100 to 50? Well, it could subtract 50 or it could divide by 2. Now, if I subtracted 50 again, I would actually get, I'd actually get 0, right? So it must be dividing by 2. So I'm dividing by 2 here and dividing by 2 there. And on this one, if I take 25 divided by 2, that makes sense. And then if I divide by 2 again, um, remember that dividing is the same thing as multiplying by the inverse. So like if I was dividing this by 2, that's the same thing as 25 over 2 times 1 over 2, which makes 25 over 4. Um, so the next time I'd take 25 over um, 4, which is right there, and again, I divide by 2, which is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half, and I get um, 25 over 8. So you can kind of see the pattern going on here. Um, this is the only one that starts with uh, 25 over 8, um, but it would just keep doubling on the bottom because you would just keep multiplying by 2, which makes 16 and 32 on the bottom. All right. Two more left. You're almost done with